So hi everyone, uh, I just started recording as well. So um, today's stream is going to be mostly about uh, VWISE and the setup for that. Um, what I uh, what I did was deleted the SDK of the sounds.pack uh, folder in uh, uh, under your game.sdk. Uh, so deleted that and um, also, there might be, uh, if you unzip that, there might be something on the libs called Game Audio. So I, get, I uh, deleted that as well. Uh, created my own sounds folder. And, uh, and this is quite annoying. I'm not sure why it does that. Oh, probably because I need to close out of my, uh, my game engine. So I'm just going to close out of this, there we go, and I just wanted to start off with a clean installation of this, okay, there we go, that worked. Okay, so this SDL mixer is just, um, I uh, unzipped the uh, sounds.sdk a while back and uh, deleted the VWISE project or the, and the sound bank that came from, uh, from Crytek. Uh, so, um, what I, um, so I, I kept uh, this SDL mixer just in case I need to switch back and forth and do any kind of testing. Um, but, um, so yeah, you basically start fresh with nothing in here. And let me go and start up uh, WISE. And, uh, and I'll show you what I'm doing to, to get sounds to work in the engine. So let me just see, it's, um, it's opening it in, uh, in, my, uh, in one of my other monitors. So, so I'm just gonna, which is really annoying, I don't know why it's doing that. Um, but at least I can drag in the window and show you the way I'm uh, creating my project. So in here I'm gonna select none because you know you need extra um, I think you need extra licensing for all of these. Uh, so the, the name of the project I name it VWISE underscore project just like in the docs that's how they recommend to name your project and the root of it it's gonna be in sounds so don't create another folder in here because once you once you give it the name of the project, there's going to be a folder created with this name, and I'm going to hit OK. So if I go into Sounds, you can see there's a VWISE project in here with the VWISE project name. Okay, so in view in, in Wise, I'm still not sure how you pronounce it, but in Wise, um, first thing you you want to do is import import a sound. So um, I have. Let me just uh, let me just find it. I um, uh, have a sound that I uh, downloaded from freesounds.org. I believe is the name of the site, and um, uh, they have um, uh, their their licensing are, are described for each sound. You know, some of them are public domain, some of them aren't. So. Um, so I look for something that's public no domain. So what I'm doing right now, I'm just dragging in uh, the, the audio file into the default work unit. And it's going to bring up this uh, import message and just hit import. And I'm just going to, I'm going to rename this. I'm going to give it a forest birds. Uh, well, maybe if I can spell birds, that would help. There we go. All right, and uh, once you have that in here, uh, what I did, uh, what, what I'm doing is I add a new event, which is a play event, and uh, normally it's good to just have play and then the sound name. So you can close this, and you can see it under the events tab as well. Then add a sound bank, you just right click, new child, add sound bank. And I'm going to name this, uh, you can name it as well, forest 
experts. Okay, so if I double click on this, you will see this is the sound bank editor. So this is where you need to bring in your event. So I'm going to bring in my event here, um, and um, and that's that for the sound bank. Uh, as far as it carrying your events over, then from layout, move on to sound bank, and in here we need to specify that we want to export it for a platform for Windows, and language is going to be English. Okay, so now you got to go into user settings and uh, select where you want this to be exported. So in my CryEngine folder, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create a folder called Wise. Uh, let's see, so we got to go to Steam, and Steam Apps, Common, CryEngine. And in, uh, in here, in the BM SDK, we got Sounds. And we create a new folder called Wise. Uh, this is where the engine is going to look for your sound banks. So in here, see it already it already select, selected the proper folder. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And uh, you can hit OK. And um, once that is all set, just hit Generate, and all the sound banks are generated. And now let's uh, let's go ahead and fire up CryEngine. And I'm going to do it in this uh, test 1024, being a being an empty empty thing here. Okay. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this and start from uh, start from scratch. So in the audio bring in an audio trigger spot and under play trigger name this is where we're going to select our uh, our uh, sound but first of all you got to go under the con audio controls editor and in here uh, let's go ahead and create a new folder and this is going to be I'm going to call this forest birds Okay, so on the forest birds, you need to bring in both the sound bank and the play event. As you can see right now, I don't see the play event. So that is because, in WISE, I need to save my project. So hit save, and there's my play event. So let's go to my, uh, where was it? Oh, probably being that it was empty. That didn't the whole forest birds is he still here? Apparently not. Okay, so let's just uh, sometimes what happens is if you select one of these when you create a new folder when you add a new folder it's going to create it under under uh, under this parent. So I'm going to close out of this and open it back up. So add a folder and then call this forest birds. And let's bring both of these in here. Under your sound bank, what I do is I uh, will work for me is I'm bringing in this this sound bank into the preloaded sound banks uh, window here. Okay, so now under Play Forest Birds, you have the event, the control, and let's try and add it to our little trigger spot and see how it works. Oh, uh, before I forget always always remember to save all you'll get this message saying the preload pre requests have been modified so hit yes and now in here let's look look up my forest birds and hit ok so uh, I can hear it um, hopefully you can as well I'm, um, my, I'm gonna try and turn off my speakers so, so hopefully you can uh, you can hear that. Okay. Um, so um, the only thing is this: uh, what I'm looking to do with this sound is uh, play it in a loop. So this is just a 30 seconds clip. So in order to do that, if I go back into Wise, 
and uh, go to audio, double click my forest birds, and it brings up your uh, sound property editor. So what you can do is just hit loop and it's going to be an infinite. And I'm going to also crank up the volume a little bit. Um, I'm not a sound engineer, so I don't know if this is like one of those things where you um, kind of override the, the master volume or whatever you might call it. But um, you know, in Wise you can you can add a ton of other effects. So um, I was playing earlier with um, a recording of my voice, you know, saying something that's going to be used for the game. And in here you can uh, you can add a ton of a ton of effects just to make the voice deeper or you know you know modulate the sound or uh, edit it in, in some way okay so uh, let's see we have this as infinite save the project and uh, let's go ahead and I'm gonna generate the sound back again okay so in uh, in the engine, what I what I do whenever I make a change is I delete the old sound bank and I bring the new one in. So that way, when I do save all, I get this um, preload requests have been modified message again. So then I can say yes. And now let's give this a test. Just going to replay it again. So you can already hear it that the sound is louder. And um, I'm just gonna let it play. Uh, this time it should be uh, it should be looping. It should be continuous. Uh, so yeah, this this sound is about 30 seconds long. So I'm just gonna try and time it. Let's see. We started counting somewhere around here. Yeah, so it should have been done by now. Um, it definitely went, it started looping. So, um, so that is pretty much it. I mean, it's uh, really straightforward. It took maybe, you know, 10 minutes to start from scratch. So, um, so yeah, I hope, uh, I hope this uh, helps somebody out. Thank you, guys.